What's going on today, people? You already know what it is. It's your boy, Tuncha, and it's YBE TV. Uh, make sure you check me out at www.ybetv.org. You could ask a question to me. You could get an aspedited question. You could get paraphernalia for your company, like company shirts and brands yourself. And last but not least, you could definitely pick up the business course and the marketing course. Uh, it, it's a lot of stuff going on. Check out the website, www.ybetv.org. Now, um, I go back and forth on the comments a lot. And this one, I just want to freestyle and put this out today to let you guys know, listen. Number one, all trucks are not created equal. They're not. It's all, uh, you, you can't say um, all trucks are created equal. They all, um, they're all the same and blah, blah, blah. It's not. It's all about preference. And now, now the thing is that I want to let people know is when you get somebody on one of these posts and they saying the best way to go is to get Kenworth because I got a T570 and that's all I, dr listen, that's great. Kenworth is a great truck. So is Freightliner. So is uh, International. So is uh, Volvo. So is Peterbilt. They're all great trucks. Now, it is some that have more kinks and things like that than the others. Like, for one, uh, 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 a truck that's garbage is the Max Force truck. The reason we know that is fact because most company buy them, most companies might buy them new, but they get rid of them at 400,000 miles and they sell for cheap. Like, I swear to God, if you can go to an auction and get 2013, 2014 trucks and these trucks are going for $12,000, $13,000, the auction guy, I asked him like, what year is that? He was like, okay, that's a 2013. He was like, uh, I was like, what they normally get for those? He was like, about 13 grand. I'm like, wait. He was like, long as they get the year, they're happy. I'm like, a thir 2013 truck should not be going for, for no $13,000. Like, a 2013 truck should get you at least 30 grand. So that just lets you know that's garbage. So with that being said, we know to stay away from those. But Peterbilt's do hold their value. Freightliners, pretty much, they they pretty good. They don't hold they value really, really good, but they really good trucks. So it's all about preference. Freightliners shake a little bit harder. A lot of stuff might rattle and shake loose. So you got a little bit more frequent small repairs. Now, with the more durable trucks like the Kenworth and the Peterbilt, they built really tough. So the little stuff don't shake apart. That's why they call them freight shakers with the Freightliner because a lot of the stuff shake apart. But with the Peterbilt, the Volvos, and all those things, a lot of stuff don't shake apart. But when you do have to service them, it, it will cost you. It will definitely cost you. So it's all about personal preference. It's all about do you want heavy duty durability and a lot of the times you you trans you trade that off with fuel mileage you know like okay well it's a little bit more durable and it's gonna give you a little bit less small things that's gonna go wrong and this one right here it might give you a few small things but you're gonna get more fuel mileage and you're not gonna get a lot of power like versus the peterbilt you get more power but me i don't care about power I, i'm more of the volvo man i like the Volvo and Freightliner are my two. Those are my two favorites. You give me a Volvo and a Freightliner, you say, hey, here go a Volvo, here go a Freightliner, tune go for it. I'm loving it. But like Peter Bilch is not my style. So what I'm all I'm saying is this. When it comes down to it, don't let nobody tell you what your preference should be. You go out, you ride your trucks, you see what the king's going to be, you get to know these trucks, and you figure out what you like, and you make that your preference. Don't let these people tell you that, because what I'm going to do is something that a lot of these other truckers can't do, and that's humble yourself. All trucks, all truck makers make great trucks. Mack, International, Peterbilt, Volvo, Kenworth, Freightliner, all of them make great trucks. Some of them, you know, like they made mistakes, like with that Max Force engine, they made mistakes. But a lot of times they come back and they make great trucks. So with that being Western Star, I forgot about Western Star. And all those types of trucks, they're all great trucks. And there's no such thing as one name brand is better than the other one. That's like saying Converse is better than Nike and Nike is better than Fila and Fila is better than Reebok. Like, no, it's not the truth. It's all about what you like. It's all about what you like. Because to a nurse, 
she might love Crocs more than Jordans. So at the end of the day, that's all I got to say. Don't let these people fool you. It's personal preference. Go out and get what you like. If you like it and you love it, we need more of it. You already know it's your boy Tucci and it's YBE TV. And if you don't want to end up in the... Oh, sidebar. YouTube, congratulations to me. I'm getting married. You already know I proposed to my lady, and she is a beautiful woman. She is so supportive and 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 sexy, and and she has her own money, and and she's sexy, and she cooks, she cleans, and and she's sexy, and you know what I'm saying. So only thing I'm gonna say is I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna let y'all go through the journey with me. I'm probably gonna put my wedding on youtube so we definitely gonna enjoy that and have a ball you already know this your boy tunchi and if you don't want to end up in a box think outside of it. why me